Welcome to Temple of Light channel. I am Moon Lily, your hostess. And today we're going to be talking about bottle spells and curses and hexes that can be done with these. <laughs> these are similar to doing a witch's jar. You can see there's nails in here. There's paper that is dissolving. Um, there is urine in here. Um, <laughs> How you and there's doing? candle wax on the outside as well as on the inside of this. Um, the candle wax is symbolizing of the person being cursed. So like, this oh, stuff can fall off if it wants to on the outside. It's just the inside that counts. So what we do with these kind of things is we take nails that are sharp I put some herbs in here for the purpose of keeping it smelling fresh because if this m knocks over, you want to smell freshness, not yeah. <laughs> okay, because that is gonna smell like ammonia when it's. And the herbs is. The herbs are rosemary, um, oregano, thyme, and parsley, and, that, and uh, some white sesame seeds. And that to curse help to. They help to amplify the energy of the curse. And they help the water absorb it, or the urine to absorb it. <laughs> the urine, as it absorbs the paper, as this paper disappears, the urine absorbs it. And then when you are done seeing that it absorbs, and if the urine turns black, that means that it's done its job. And then at that point, you dispose of the jar itself by smashing it in a garbage dump or throwing it into the garbage and letting the garbage jump itself take care of that business because, ew. Um, <laughs> and um, you can use these kind of um, bottles, like wine bottles. Um, you can use containers like this, little jars. This is going to be used as a spell container at one point. <sighs> Just wanting to let you know at one point we're going to be using this. <laughs> as a spell container mm -hmm. when the uh, vanilla bean is all out because we're going to be using vanilla bean for a major spell soon and that's why we have these out because we're going to be using these to make a huge potion and we're going to need um, some beer for that so I'm glad you got some beer honey girl <laughs> <laughs> how anyway, you doing? Um, and um, I'm going to take a sip of this real quick mm -hmm. Okay, so, when it comes to doing these, um, you can have whatever your intentions are, you write them on a piece of paper, which is kind of what we have right here, and um, this piece of paper has my nasty intentions towards somebody, I told them uh, in this thing right here, basically, that they have done me wrong, and I feel like they should have karma on upon them, so that is what is written here. And as this dissolves, the more the karma will come out to them. <laughs> so the more karma, the better. After you create your jar, what do you do with it? You store it in an area that has no light, because otherwise it will ferment. And you do not want fermented beverages in the household <laughs> that are like this. Because cool. uh, the nails, they will start to turn a different color. That will start to lose the rust that is on them because they're supposed to be, yeah, that's what's in here. And then you get bay leaf right there <laughs> that has been partially dissolved. Um, okay, that is weird. That happens, but it's weird. Um, How many days it till break or throw the jar away? Um, as soon as you notice that there's mold starting to grow on the paper. Or if the spell is working. Yeah. Or if the spell is starting to work and you notice that it's starting to work, you go outside and you smash the spell bottle. But before you do that, you take a Sharpie and you write, spell be released, let this be so, so mote it be, and blessed be. Or curse it be, because depending on what type of spell you're doing, you don't put blessed be, you put curse it be, or text be. Cool. And then you put their name on there. Like, for example, the person that I put a curse on is a person named Gigi. <laughs> um, just take the spell, and you 
go to wherever you know that nobody else is going to be able to smell it, and you smash that bad boy, or you put it in the trash can, and you put it out for the trash man, and then the trash bucket will squish it. And then the spell will be released that way. Cool. And then whoever is the recipient receives it right then and there, full force. Hmm. And uh, you can also use wax to write it down on there, but I wouldn't recommend that because that takes time and effort, and um, it also involves a lot of putting your fingers on hot wax, and I don't think you guys want to do that. So, a little bit of a uh, wisdom thing here. Sometimes green is a good thing to use for anger and jealousy, because this person has a jealousy problem, so I put green to represent their jealousy. Hmm. Oh. So, yes. Oh, um, that concludes our video for the day. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Huh? Blessed be, my darlings. This is